considering that we just got the release of a brand new wwe 2k22 dlc pack and big update i was not expecting to already be talking about the next dlc pack but there is some big news to talk about as a new report indicates that nash carter would not be part of the next wwe 2k22 dlc and personally i'm not too excited about the replacement for it in the comments below let me know who you would like to see as a replacement in the background is a caw of cody Rhodes and brown breaker going at it while we talk all about it so once wwe release a former nxc superstar nash carter the community started to wonder whether or not he would still be part of the third dlc pack the stand back dlc pack that will be coming out on june 7. this obviously became a big question because of the controversy that led to his release fast forward to now in sports gamers online it's reporting that nash carter has in fact been removed from the stand back dlc pack for wwe 2k22 they reached out to 2k and a spokesperson provided a statement to them stating the following with 2k commitments to providing the most authentic representation of the wwe universe the stand backpack has been updated to reflect the current wwe roster wwe 2k22 dlc packs provide the community with engaging and valuable content post launch to ensure that there is always something new to discover in the ring to deliver on that promise the new update to the stand backpack now includes booker t evil and sf rollins emerald my faction cards as bonus content in addition to the hurricane stacy keebler a kid and wesley who of course is nash carter former tag team partner but is still in nxt 2k hasn't sent out this full statement yet and we don't even know if they're gonna make an announcement themselves about it nonetheless it is understandable why nash carter was removed after the recent solution Luke controversies also the allegation that he ended up having around the same time right before being released from wwe regardless though in replacement we are getting a booker t and seth rollins my faction car which i personally think that it is a lackluster replacement because it's clear that my faction is the mode that that is played the least and all of this goes back to the problem that we have been talking about for my faction and that is that we are still not able to use these alternate versions of super superstars outside of my faction hence why a lot of people continue to be pissed off about this mode and updates that they do for it because it doesn't feel as rewarding it doesn't feel as valuable unlocking an evil card or just an alternate version of a superstar like dx a triple h but then we can even use that in exhibition mode to put him up against whoever we want or in any other type of matchup we can even show it off online as a replacement i would have loved for us to just get another different nxc superstar there's a lot of nxc superstar in that roster that we would love to see in the game biggest name will of course be somebody like braun breaker i know a lot of people are saying that to replace him with cody rhodes but that's a bit of a reach considering that cody rhodes just came back to wwe and 2k definitely hasn't scanned him yet unlike other nxc superstars which they likely did scan but just didn't make it into the game let me know down in the comments below what you guys think should be the replacement hopefully it's another brand new superstar or hopefully just like the my rise character the my faction characters end up being added to the regular roster in an upcoming update that is all the latest for now i'll continue to keep you guys up to date as always so make sure to subscribe if you're new and turn on those notifications i hope you drop a like on this video i'll catch you on the next one so stay savage